That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about The Photograph, which opens on Valentine's Day, February 14, 2020, courtesy of Universal Pictures. This film is directed by... Stella Meggy. It's her fourth film. Have you seen her other? No. Um, Gene of the Joneses, Weekend, and Everything, Everything. I remember when Everything, Everything came out. I did not see it. Um, okay. The teenage romance was the heart of that film, I believe. Describe the story. Uh, so it is uh, set uh, between two time periods, 1980s Louisiana and modern day New York. And it's about the end of one relationship and the beginning of another. Um, it stars Issa Rae as May and Lakeith Stanfield as Michael. She's a co-curator at a museum in Queens and he is a journalist. Uh, and their paths cross while he's doing a story in Louisiana. He comes across a, a, a man uh, played by Rob Morgan who has some photographs on his wall and he asks who the photographer is and he tracks uh, that woman down to New York uh, and she's now deceased and her daughter is Issa Rae. And they have a, kind of an immediate chemistry that the story develops while we learn the backstory of what happened to uh, Issa Rae's mother, Christine. Christina. So the mom is from the 80s <laughs> yes. plot line. Yeah. And Issa Rae and Lakeith are from modern day plot line. Yes. Okay. So you liked this film. I really liked this film. Um, I don't know I, I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, I was obviously very curious to see uh, Issa Rae outside of her comfort zone, I think. Um, so this is a drama. It is it it's being marketed, you know, that I, I almost wish it wasn't opening on, on Valentine's Day because it just it carries this weight of having to be this romantic melodrama and it's not anything like that. In fact, this felt like a beautiful, languid uh, novel on film. That's what it felt like. And, and it's not based on a book. This is a, an original screenplay by the director. Um, it felt like the kind of films we would see in the 1970s that studios would make. I can't believe that this is a studio picture because it feels like something that would be relegated to the film festival circuit. So I think that we are supremely lucky that it was made and that it's going to be playing the multiplexes. Um, it, but it, it just takes its time and care with uh, characterization and a beautiful blending of uh, the, the different time periods that builds to not any real great crescendo, but some, I don't know, great moments of just well, I don't know this profound... Well, so what, so like Lakeith sees some photographs that appeal to him. So, yeah, he, he's so doing, why does he want to meet the photographer? He's, uh, he's doing a story that uh, has to do with, um, he's talk, talking to Rob Morgan, who is a very underrated character actor. He's in Mudbound and Bull with Yolanda Ross. and he uh, thinks that there, this woman might have more photographs that will be useful to the story he's trying to tell. Okay. Uh, so he's led immediately to Issa Rae and they have uh, a connection, but that builds uh, believ believably and authentically. Um, it, like it, a romantic it, yes, relationship? Yes, yeah, they have a romantic okay. relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and, <laughs> Well, you should have seen the movie, but uh, <laughs> well, you just don't do a good job of explaining. It. I don't. I'm not good at. Uh, I'm not good at synopsis. But actually, the, one of the subtexts of the film uh, has to do with uh, communication. What we learn from our parents, um, how we come to understand our parents, and as we grow and learn that the world is not just about ourselves. That maybe our character, our parents weren't flawed, but were they what they were trying to show us was what love was is not what we thought so there are several films opening valentine's day like fantasy island mm -hmm. downhill mm -hmm. uh, or are, ordinary love ordinary love and the photograph mm -hmm. those would be like the four bigger well in sonic the in sonic the hedgehog yeah so the most appropriate probably valentine's day film would be the photograph probably of, of I, that group yeah i i just don't I feel like it. I, I would love this movie to be a success. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna find. I, you know, I don't. Can't see men going to see this film. Um, but it's got such a great cast. The Keith Stanfield, um, a really great supporting cast. Tiana Paris uh, from Chirac and who was in uh, 
if Beale Street could talk recently. Kelvin Harrison Jr. has a small role. Uh, Courtney B. Vance plays uh, Issa Rae's father. Uh, Lil Rel is Lakeith's brother. Uh, Shantae Adams, who was in Roxanne Roxanne, is great as uh, Issa's mother from the past. Um, it, it just opens on a note of just kind of profound melancholy. And I, I, this walking out of this film felt like a buzz from a nice glass of Pinot Noir and do listening to a nice R&B soundtrack. The soundtrack is fantastic. Um, you Karen White. Uh, oh, I do like Karen White. <laughs> Ritual uh, of Love, Secret Rendezvous. Superwoman is the Superwoman, track. her big song. Uh, there's a, a Rika Badu, the tra the the compositions were done by Robert Glasper, who did uh, the Miles Ahead Don Cheadle film about Miles Davis, and uh, he was on Ava DuVernay's 13th uh, documentary. Uh, Marsha Stephanie Blake, who was excellent as Octavia Spencer's sister in Loose. Uh, she's only in a couple scenes, but she's transfixing to watch. Like, I can't wait for to see her in more things. Uh, Ilan Noel who plays the younger Rob Morgan um, from uh, The First Purge and Insecure. Um, I, I don't know, just er everything about this felt spot on and authentic and like it wasn't trying too hard. It just, like I said, it's a languid, finely paced novel is what it felt like. And it's been a really long time since I just walked out of a studio film feeling that. So what would you give this film? I give this film four to five stars. Uh, and I also read that Stella Maggie is developing another movie with Issa Rae called American Princess. Nice. Well, I, I definitely like Issa Rae. I will watch this film eventually. Yeah, it's, I, I don't, like, again, I don't really know what I was... I didn't really have any expectations for whatsoever, but uh, yeah, it's a pleasant surprise. Alright, bye. Bye.